Today I'm going to show you how to prep your yuca for your pasteles wrapped in banana leaf. So come along with me and let's cook together. Hello, hello everyone. So today is the continuation of my prepping for my pasteles, yuca pasteles that I'm gonna be making. Now what I have here is a bag of the frozen yuca that I took out. Let me open this so you can get more light. And um, I went ahead and filled it with water and a little bit of salt and I just let it hang out. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna rinse it one more time and then I'm gonna take out the heart, which is the middle part, and I'll show you in a little bit. And I'm gonna dice them so that I can put it in my Ninja uh, blender. And then I'll bring you back just to show you how I do it. Now, the reason I put it in, in water, cold water and a little bit of salt, number one is to, you know, uh, thaw them out and two, to get, to get some of the starch out of it. Anyway, I'll bring you back when I get ready um, to show you what it's gonna look like when Hello, I prep Hello, my it. friends, I hope you can hear me. So here I am. I'm gonna get ready to prep this, but I wanna show you what I'm talking about. See, they're very easy right now to cut open, but in the middle, this one doesn't have it. In the middle, it normally has like the, what they call the heart of the uh, yuca. Let me find one that has it so I can show you, because you wanna remove this. See, and it is, oh, it's got a lot of water in it, but where is it? Okay, here we go. I think this one has one. I want to show you what it looks like. You see this? You want to remove that because that's hard. That's like the heart of the juca. And what we're going to do is, I told you previously that I had this in water and salt. This is the frozen kind. I don't buy the one that you have to peel because it's way too much work for me and like I've said before, my hands are bad, so I can't do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be prepping this, and I'm going to be taking that hard part off. All right, guys. I hope this is better lighting. I don't I don't know what to do, to be honest, because I've got me another light, and it doesn't seem to be that great. So anyway, let's continue. So, so now what we're going to do is cut in small pieces like so you see what i'm doing because this i'm gonna put it in my ninja uh and to shred it really good these have already taken the hard part in the middle out it's very important that you do that because that part is almost like a hard piece of wood if you will so you want to make sure that you take that off because i went ahead and put it in water with salt, it let out a lot of the um, the starch. I'll bring you back when I'm done prepping all this because I don't want to keep you the whole time. And then I'll show you how I put it in the in the um, Ninja. Blend. I'm sorry, I'm bringing you back to show you that this is what it has to look like. Now, I will say that I really like the frozen one versus the one that, you know, the fresh one that you have to peel and all that the juca because it's also softer so it's going to be a lot more forgiving on the blades making the job a little bit easier you want to add a little bit at a time there is i can feel that there's a lot of the uh, there's still a lot of the juice here let me see if i can show you that's been dripping collecting i should say at the bottom i don't know if you can no you can probably oh, you can't see it but it's been collecting at the bottom, so I'm gonna transfer this to another bowl so that I can put this, when it's finished, into this bowl. I'll bring you back in a second. Hey guys, so in the middle of this, I had to come here so I can sport my little t-shirt that my nephew, who has his own printing shop, uh, made for me, and it just arrived today, and I wanted to share with you. Check it out. Hey guys, so this is one, one bat. Let's see what it looks like so I can show you. You may want to get it a little bit more, um, see, grounded than that. I'm going to put, I'm going to add a little bit more and I'm going to put, and then I'm going to start it again. Okay. So I'm going to, see, I have to put it in here. I'm going to go like this. Oops. 
one bit of dust and that's okay like this now i don't mind if it has a little bit you know uh a little bit coarse i don't mind at all um because i mean when you cook it it's still gonna get soft so when you put the pasteles to boil so i'm gonna do another one and back let me just show you what it looks like see it is a little coarse see but i like it like this i don't want it any any uh smoother than that i'm good with it like that um so it almost looks like like shaved coconut i guess if you will so i'm gonna pour it in here oh, i'm done with this i'm gonna move it away but this is what we're looking at. See, I want you to get a close-up. See that? And then I'm going to dump it here, like so. And then um, we're probably ready to rock and roll. I purchased a frozen one, too. Frozen solid. So I'm going to have to put it in the fridge. And tomorrow, I'll take it out. I'll strain it because this one's going to have a lot of... A, a lot of that um starch which i'm gonna have to strain but anyway i'll bring you tomorrow when i get ready but aren't you excited look at my little t-shirt again isn't that cool i just i know I'm a little, i gotta lose a couple of pounds you guys but that's okay but you see my nephew made these t-shirt for me and he just got in and he surprised me um i'm so excited it's such a good quality t-shirt he has his own printing um, business. He does amazing work, good quality as well. I mean, I love it. It's really, really nice. I will link his um, his link on the, the description. So if you so choose and you wanna place orders, please give him a try. He's starting out, but he's really good at what he does. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hey guys, look at this. We're way up here now. We're cooking with grease. Let's see. I'm just trying to see which one is a better angle. Okay, so here we are again. Let me show. I want to show you the paper that you get for this. I have to look up because obviously my camera little things way up there. But this you get at the Spanish market, and it comes. It's a 12 by 18, and it brings anywhere from 50 to 55. Ooh, sheets see that and that's the size it also brings the twine to tie it with but i wanted to show you is i'm going to be assembling this tomorrow but i wanted to show you that what you should do because you see how they're curled what i like to do is i open it up and i put it to lay flat on my counter this way so it doesn't roll on me tomorrow when I get ready. So uh, I'm going to put something heavy on it, obviously. Like maybe uh, this. Because I want it to stay put. Remember, I prepped these. So these are going to be ready for tomorrow. I'm going to put them out in the refrigerator because they were in the freezer. So they can thaw out and they'll be ready in the morning. And then I'll show you my assembly line. It's better if you have help, quite honestly, but I don't. So I'll bring you back um, tomorrow. So when we get ready to assemble, so you can see how the process goes, okay? Hello guys, we are back. And I just wanted to bring you in just to show you how I'm gonna prep the juca. Now, I did, yesterday I demonstrated that I went ahead and put this in my Ninja um i find it to be my hands are clean i find it to be a little bit too coarse but i do have the pre-mixed one um you know that you buy at walmart so i bought this one i'm gonna go ahead and extract um put it on cheesecloth get most of the uh, liquid out which is the starch and then i'm gonna mix them together okay so what i have here is a large kitchen towel but this is what you want not a regular kitchen towel that looks like an actual towel you don't want to use that so 
I'm gonna go ahead and put some here. I have opened my bag. What I did was I left it in the top of the refrigerator for it to thaw out overnight because it was obviously frozen. And this is all that I'm gonna do. So that you can see, I'm going to, it's supposed to be, you, you see, you see this? It's supposed to be in a little bit and less, see that? I gotta take most of this out because I don't want all of that in there. So I may have to do this instead. I saw someone on a Spanish channel on TV. Um, it's a cooking channel in Dominican Republic. And this is what they do. He takes it like this and then he does this. And he, it's very hard to do because my hands don't work. And he does like this, see? But obviously, I got way too much, so I'm gonna have to take some out. Let me take some out, and if you see little bits, brown bits, take them out. But I'm gonna take some out because it's way too much for me to handle, and I'm gonna do half of it. That's what I should have done in the first place. So all you're gonna do is this. Take all of that starch out. Because remember, the yuca that I went ahead and and put through my ninja still does have a little bit. Not a lot, but it does have a little bit. I want to take out most of this stuff out because I don't need it. And I don't want it to be too gooey-like. Because after all, we do have to, um, when we make it, we're going to boil it when it's time to cook it, you know, to have it. I have seen people where they go ahead and they bake it. You can do that too if you want. Um, I've always done it this way. Now, the one that has to do with the... You see that? Still. Okay. So, this is what I'm looking for. Let me just show you. Hold on. See... Because this has some, and we're going to be adding oil. And then I'm just going to add it to my pan like this. And I'm going to incorporate all of it. It's going to take me a minute. So I'll bring you back when I'm done with this. But just want to show you, look at how much that little bit released. So I have a way to go. I'll bring you back in a minute. Okay, here we are. So I have already taken out... Uh, Taking my cheesecloth and strain all the excess um, starch from the packet that we purchased. Look at how much starch we had. Okay, that's going to go out. And then I'm left with, let me just clean this up. I'm left with this, okay? I'm going to have to move this over because you're not going to be able to see very well. Okay, so, uh, okay, let's see. So I'm left with this. Now I wanna show you something. What I like to do is I get the Iberia Sazon that has culantro y achote. And I have four packets in this. This is what I get. And then I add either olive oil or regular oil to this. I add some of my adobo. I have some here, that little bit that has pimienta, which is pepper, black pepper, and this one doesn't have any, but I don't really mind. So all I'm gonna do is this. I don't measure anything, so, but that is a lot of yuca. And yuca has no flavor. So this is what I'm gonna do. And I do the same thing, I do the, I mean, I don't use this on it, but when I'm gonna make the oil to put on my hoja, I just get a couple of these packets and I put it in with oil, mix it up, and that's what I use. Instead of doing <coughs> the vihol or achote um, uh, from scratch. A lot of yuca, so I'm going to add at least a cup. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm going to stir it up really good. And this is going to get the color and a little bit of flavor to my yuca. Hold on, you'll see in a minute. See, it starts turning the color. Now, 
I've never tried the Iberia flavor, I mean brand. Never tried the Iberia brand. I do use this one, and this one is my absolute favor to do it with. Let me show you. Oh, okay, and I'm running out. So I didn't want to see. This is the one that I like to use. Oops. This one has also culantro, achote, and oregano. And this is my favorite to you. But I couldn't find this, so, you know, you just make it work. Just make it work for yourself. It's not going to hurt anything. And I find that this one, the color is even more intense than the Iberia one. So I'm going to get another little packet. Plus, it has really good flavor, too. So I'm going to do this. And... I'm gonna bring you back when I'm when I'm done mixing it so you can okay, see. Okay guys, so here we go. Let's um draw our attention to oops to making this putting this in. Um I had to put on my gloves because I'm gonna have to get really I'm gonna have to get down to the nitty-gritty. Okay. So all I've done is now I'm gonna just pour just like this. Just like this. And I'm going to have to really work this really, really well. And although I don't want to taste it, I'm going to have to taste it for salt and flavor. Because, you know, it's a lot of yuca. And yuca is not, yuca doesn't have any flavor. And it takes a minute for you to get the flavors there going. But you see what I'm doing? All I'm doing is breaking it up, making sure that I incorporate everything. And because the bottom one had a little bit of, of um, dripping still, I'm gonna be okay. All right guys, so we are on. Okay, so what I have here, let's recap. Here's my string that I'm gonna be tying my pasteles with. And it is like almost arm length, two arms length. Cause you're gonna wanna fold it equally like you're gonna to wanna to do this and have it ready like this. Okay, so you can see I've made some here. I just took it, I mixed it very well, and I made balls to make it easy. And these balls are anywhere from one quarter cup to a half a cup, give or take, because I didn't really measure. And then I have here my parchment paper and a piece of my, um, banana leaves it's been washed dried and everything and then as I explained before what I have here is olive oil and a packet of sazon con achote a packet of this sazon con culantro achote and oregano that's all that is in here because I didn't make the traditionally you're supposed to make it, but I didn't do that. And then what I have here is my um, codfish that I had made a couple of weeks ago and I canned it. All I did was open it out of my jar and put it in here. This is the excess uh, drippings from it because I don't want it to get too, you know. And then here we go. So all we're going to do is I'm going to take some of my little thing here and I'm gonna do this I don't have I used to have the little brushes but I got a little bit carried away and started cleaning my cabinets gave a lot of stuff away and now I have I don't have anything so I have to use this like my mother used to say in Spanish el que da lo suyo a pedir se queda if you give your stuff away then you're begging for it back like looking for it back okay so look at the consistency of this remember i told you that i mix both of them so this is all i'm gonna do um <clears throat> it's a little bit on the dry side because i did take out a lot of the stuff so all i'm gonna do is kind of lay it flat like this and it seems to work just fine and then i'm going to add my this guy here, the star of the show. Let me grab a 
Let me grab a, I thought I was prepared, but obviously I forgot to get another back with a spoon. I'm going to uh, probably put two, maybe four of them to cook in a little bit. I'm gonna put a pot of hot water uh, with water to boil with a little bit of salt. And this is gonna boil for 45 minutes. Now, if you were taking it out of the freezer and they're frozen, then you want to do it, boil it for an hour. But you have to put it in once your hot water is to a boiling point, okay? So all I'm gonna do is this. I should taste my, to see if it's good. Mmm, it's perfect, you guys. It's not salty or anything, it's just right. So I'm gonna make a couple of them just to show you and I'm gonna do this now I like mine to have a little bit of I don't like mine to be you know like they call blind meaning hardly any filling I don't like you're gonna do is this like this and then you're gonna come here and you're gonna make sure I have my husband cut this for me flatten it out a little bit like so do this, see what I'm doing? Fold, like so. Fold it again. And you see that you have folded the thing. And then you're gonna go like this, here. See that? Like that, and push it in a little bit. Then fold this over, like this, and this side, like this. Then, oops, sorry, all you're gonna do Remember that I said both have to be the same length. You see that? You're gonna lay it like this here, like this. And what you're trying to achieve, you want to get the ends. These ends need to be tucked in and you need to be to get it in there. Not all the same way. And then I'm going to take my, uh-oh, I just did one too much and the other one not enough. See that? They were not at the same length. And then you're gonna pull it through. Well, maybe I'm not showing you very well. You're gonna pull it through like this, making sure that you capture these two like this. And then, see, like, whoops, sorry guys. Ah, I just messed it up for you, crap. All right, let me do it again. Sometimes it doesn't work as good. I think the best way is to do it this way and then work with it once you get it in there. Then, you know, work with your strings. Like this and like this and like this. And I'm making a huge mess. Okay, so this is good. You know what? not working out you guys and I don't know why okay there we go like that that's what you're looking for see what you're looking for that and then you're gonna come over and you're gonna do it again and you're gonna turn it this way don't tie it too much too too tight give it a little bit of breathing room and I go back again a couple of times just to hold it you want to give it a, li a little bit of breathing room and don't do it overly tight because it's gonna expand when you start to cook it, okay? So you don't wanna do that. Doesn't this look adorable, you guys? Look at this, look at how pretty it looks, the colors. That looks pretty, huh? A lot of love is going into this. It's a long process, but it's worth it. I will say that if you're gonna make this, make it worth your while. Make a lot, if you have a freezer, freeze them, and then you don't have to do this um, Normally they do this around the holiday season, like Christmas and whatnot, or um, a celebration. It's normally when they do this. This is not something that is typically done often because it is labor intensive, but it's, it's worth it though. Hey guys, check it out. We have about 30 minutes to go before these are done. But you see that? That's what you're looking for. Now, okay, it is done. And I'm gonna start pulling it out. Be very careful. I'm holding my thing with one hand. But what I wanted to mention is, see that, I'm sorry. What I wanted to mention, when you're taking it out, try and drain some of that water out. 
as much as you can. So here we go. Let me turn off my timer off. And then I'm going to bring you in when I open it, but I just want to look at the presentation. Look at that. It doesn't that look amazing? And there you have it, guys. This is the bacalao one, and it looks amazing. Let me open it up to show you what it looks like inside. Oh my, look at that. That looks really, really good. My husband will be the judge of that. This one is the pulled pork one that I wrapped in foil so that you can see. It also turned out amazing, you guys. Thank you for watching.